Hi Taurus, this is your bonus reading for December. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. All right, so the first two cards that flipped out of the deck for you, Taurus, is the Four of Cups and the Five of Wands. So some of you have drama with someone, chaos, issues, problems, competition. And with the Four of Cups, you feel like you're getting bored offering this person your love and your emotions, your time and effort. You may also feel like this person is ignoring you. Okay, could be for a third party situation. Let's see where this goes. And then we have the High Priestess. So someone you're dealing with is keeping secrets. It could be a Taurus, such as yourself, or a Scorpio. Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for Taurus? Taurus, Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus for this bonus reading? Uh -huh. We have the Emperor in Reverse and the Ten of Cups. Some of you feel like you don't have control of this situation. You want the Ten of Cups with this person. You want happiness. You want fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, but you feel like you can't get it. Some of you may be dealing with an Aries or a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. And you're losing faith in this situation. I don't see the Star card in Reverse yet, but I'm feeling that energy. It's like you don't trust this person. You don't feel like you're going to get what you want out of them. Something is moving extremely slow. You have the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. So I see someone keeps rushing in, but not keeping their word. This person is not consistent. Could be an air sign for some of you, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Possibly a Capricorn with that Knight of Pentacles. Spare, what messages do you have for Taurus? Why is Taurus person coming in and being inconsistent why are they rushing towards them and then still being inconsistent oh okay this person sees you as the nine of pentacles but they're not ready for whatever it is you're ready for so you may be ready for a commitment with this person but they're not ready to settle down and this is why you guys aren't seeing eye to eye with the two of cups reverse i do see that there's love here though and they they do hold you in high regard so maybe this person feels like they don't have enough for you Oh, that one to flip right over that. Yeah, they're burdened by something. I see this person looking up to you. They see you as someone worthy of being with. Nine of Pentacles, but Two of Cups reverse, Ten of Wands. That's the energy of someone who has some burdens, some um, something really heavy that they're carrying around concerning you and this connection. Okay. This card just slipped right out of the deck. The Ten of Swords. So you have the Ten of Wands now and the Ten of Swords. So this connection could have ended. And it may be for reasons unknown to you. Okay? Because like I said, this person sees you as the Nine of Pentacles. They feel like you have a lot going on for yourself. And you don't really need them. And I feel like this is something that they worry about. So some of you could be dealing with someone who is... Um, insecure within themselves and so they put this energy onto you and they make you feel like you're the issue and you're the problem here but you're really not i feel like this person lacks self-esteem is what i'm seeing so let's see where this goes taurus spirit what messages do you have for taurus yeah four of pentacles i feel like this person is hanging on to you but they're broke or something like they're hanging on to their money. They can't spend freely like you do. They may look at you and get jealous when you buy things or this person may feel like you should like help them out. And maybe you've tried to help them out, Taurus, but you don't see them doing anything for themselves. And so when you pull back, they get mad or maybe this person pulled back from you. It's like something may have ended here between you and this person, but... I don't feel like it's over because we have the six of cups. We have reconciliation, them wanting to talk to you, having thoughts of you. Okay, the six of cups is all about nostalgic feelings. Also, I'm picking up the energy that this person could be dealing with someone from their past. There could be a lot of history between them and someone else who has children by them, and they're not letting this person go. Seven of Cups energy here. They have other options besides you. you. Could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. With the Six of Cups and the Seven of Cups coming out. We also have the Five of Swords. So this person wants to win. They want things their way. So they could be dealing with you and another person and are not willing to give this other person up. You know what? I'm feeling like the reason why they're not giving up this other person, Taurus, is because they're more so on their level than you are. 
you're light years ahead of someone. You have a nice car, a nice home, good job. Uh, you look nice. You're very pretty or you're very handsome. And it's something that this it scares this person. It's like it makes them nervous because they don't feel like they can compete with you. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? What messages do you have for Taurus? But I feel like you don't know that. I feel like you're not even thinking along those lines. You're thinking it's something else, possibly. Yeah, look at that. You're thinking it's something else, the Eight of Swords. You're in your head about the situation, but you have no idea that this person sees you as the Nine of Pentacles, but they also see themselves in this light, in this energy. So this person may be pulling away from you or not wanting to be around you because they don't have much to offer you. They could have even walked away, betrayed you, stabbed you in the back after you've done a lot for them and they can't explain themselves. I feel like they're not used to someone like you. They're used to whoever they're dealing with not having much and so they feel like they're more so on that person's level. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? Okay, what messages do you have for Taurus? Wow. Okay. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this shit. <laughs> I'm telling you, Taurus. You have no idea how this person is feeling and thinking, but this is what they're thinking. They're juggling money here. Two of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Wands in reverse. They're not telling you about it. This person is looking at a secure, stable situation with you, right? But they don't have much. They're looking at your situation. And they're like, okay, should I continue to invest in this? Also, I don't know. I'm picking up maybe this is you. Okay, let me just tell you what I'm seeing here, which is, um, I won't say it's weird, but it's not, it doesn't come out a lot in readings, right? I feel like you and this person is the seven of pentacles. I do. Because I feel like your person is the seven of pentacles for one reason and you're the seven of pentacles for another reason. You may be asking yourself, should you continue to invest in this? I feel like you and this person are not talking with the eight of wands in reverse. Now, keep in mind, this could be someone who lives at a distance. You could be online dating this person. But if you're not, okay, because everyone is not online dating. So take it as it resonates as your situation. With the seven of pentacles, your person is like, should I continue to invest in this? I don't have a lot to offer. I'm already juggling money. I don't have a lot to give. This, Like you could be requiring something out of them. Maybe you want to move. Maybe you want to take a, a vacation. Uh, maybe you just want to do different things and this person can't do it. And I feel like with the seven of pentacles, they're asking themselves, should I continue to invest myself in this? Because I don't have a lot to offer. I feel like you're asking yourself, should you continue to invest in this person because they're moving too slow for you? It's something like they say they're going to do something, but they don't do it. Or they say they're going to have something. Maybe you guys talked about moving and getting a bigger place or something like that. And it requires more money. And you're like, okay, well, I'm saving. Are you saving? And then I feel like this person's telling you, yeah, but when it comes down to it, they don't have anything to offer. Or when you talk to them about it, they may ghost you or become distant and cold and not want to talk about the situation. For some of you, this involves children as well. I feel like some of you, you're dealing with someone who has um, child support issues with their baby mom or their baby father. Spirit, what messages do you have? Sorry. Messages? Yeah. The magician in reverse. This person's a trickster. They're being manipulative. They're not telling you something here. And I feel like this person's going to come and try to take action. Um, Nine of cups. They want to try and make you happy at some point. But then we have the six of wands reverse. It's not going to be successful because I feel like this person's not where you need them to be. It's like you don't want to allow this person to pull you down or drag you down. But it's not, it's something is not right here. With the Nine of Cups, Ace of Wands, I feel this person has a lot of passion and a lot of chemistry. And maybe the sex is good. Something's good here. But when it comes to success and victory and moving forward and, you know, being able to make this work and build with this person, I don't know if it's going to be successful. And you may be realizing that. So let's get some message cards. And let's see what the universe has to say. I feel like you're realizing something about your person. They not, they're not who you thought they were. Or maybe they made themselves seem one way. And now you're realizing they're not that way. Um, okay. I think I'm going to use this deck, Confessions of a Runner. Because I feel like you have someone who's like running back and forth and you don't get it. 
You don't understand why they're doing it. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? Why is their person running back and forth, Spirit? Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Why is Taurus person in and out? What is it that Taurus needs to know about this person? Why won't they settle down with Taurus, Spirit? Wow. Okay, this person's stubborn. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? What do they need to know about their person? All right, so we have two. We have, I am involved with someone else. I didn't expect to fall in love with you. We also have, I'm scared that you will hurt me the way that I hurt you. I am still hung up on you. So this person still wants to be with you, but I feel like they've hurt you a lot and they feel like you're going to like return the favor, pay them back. I don't know how to communicate my feelings. It's easier to be silent. Yeah, there's something that this person is not telling you. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? What messages do you have for Taurus person? Why is Taurus person so distant and cold and running away? Inconsistent. I know that I need to apologize. I can't forgive myself. Wow, we have, I usually fucking run. You open me to deep intimacy, which I am not used to. Okay, so yeah, like you require something out of this person and they know it. And you're different from everyone else that they're used to dealing with. And they don't know how to, how to react with that. I am avoiding sex right now as I can't handle my intimacy. I feel so much now and I am scared I will fall too deep. This person feels like they're going to fall in love with you, but they can't offer you much. We also have, I am so triggered right now. You really pissed me off. So you could have said something um, to piss this person off. Or maybe they said something to piss you off. So flip and reverse the roles as need be. Taurus, Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? What messages do you have for Taurus person? What does Taurus need to know about their person? I feel like a hot mess. I need to get my shit together. So this person feels like they don't measure up to you. I am settling in my comfort zone. I am afraid of a whole lifestyle change. The sexual desire is too intense. Is this just lust because all I can think about is banging you? And then we have your sex is too damn good. Can I trust you to be faithful? I have trust issues. I have been let down in the past. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? What does Taurus need to know about their person? I think I'm going to pull from another deck. I'm being led to use another deck for you guys as well. All right, so let's get one more from here. It was soul love at first sight. My feelings for you scare me senseless. So this person is scared to settle down with you. They feel like they're going to get caught up or they're going to be in too deep. Yeah, look at this. Did you put a spell on me? I can't stop thinking about you and it's driving me insane. This person is afraid of you. And then we have, I have financial concerns. I just don't know how to make this work. They're afraid that they're going to fall like too deep into this connection, Taurus, but they can't do anything for you they can't provide for you or something but they're afraid it's not that they don't love you and i feel like that's what you don't know about the situation if this person is pulling back you feel like they don't care they don't love you enough but it's not that they're afraid of this connection they're not used to someone like you taurus like people that they have dealt with in the past possibly did not have much um i'm trying to see what deck here all right i guess i'll use this one what messages do you have for Taurus? What does Taurus need to know about their person? We have unfazed. I'm unfazed by our separation since I wasn't emotionally invested. Yeah, this person tried not to be. They didn't want to be emotionally invested because they felt like they could not hang with you, stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with you, measure up with you, keep up with you, or something. Spirit with mess. Okay. Wow. Spirit gave me three. All right, spirit. Oh, they gave me four. Okay, I thought they gave me three. There was one hiding underneath. We have Verge. I'm about to confess my true feelings. Please be willing to listen. We have fighting it. The harder I try to resist you, the weaker I seem to be. 
We also have worth waiting for and undecided. Honestly, I don't know what I want. Not sure if I want a relationship. This person doesn't know if they want a relationship with you, but the universe is saying this person is worth waiting for. But are you willing to wait for them? I feel like the universe is saying there's a lot of love here between you and this person. And if they got themselves together to where as though you wouldn't have to drag them along, they could stand up and walk side by side with you. And you guys could build on this connection. I feel like this would be a worthwhile connection. But are you willing to wait on them? Do they have enough self-esteem to pull their own selves up and get their life in order? Because this person doesn't have their life in order. And I feel like you're not wanting to wait for them to do that. Because your life is fine. You have a lot of good going for yourself. You're very goal-oriented. You have possibly a business that you're building. You may be going to school. It's just that you have your shit in order and your person doesn't, is what I'm seeing here. So those are the messages that I have for your bonus reading, Taurus. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cars Never Lied Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522 And I will see you guys next time. Bye.